Hello. So it was suggested to me that I show you how I did the coloring of the hair using eyeshadow. So why not? So I, I, after my shower, I blow dried my hair, which I normally don't do, which is why it's a little straighter and frizzier than normal. But I'm just going to do just the ends today. And this is a very messy procedure. And I should have changed my shirt, but that's okay. So, it's really actually pretty simple. I'm going, because I didn't change my shirt, I'm just going to cheat and put a little bit of a napkin in there to protect my collar and my shoulder because we all know how messy I am at crafting or anything. I'm just going to take this front end. Now what I have today, what I'm using is um, some blue because it'll show up good on the camera and it's really simple. And this one happens to be a cover girl one that I got quite a while ago. There's a couple different ways to do it and the best way is with a paper towel. Um, I haven't tried it with the brush and I thought, well, let's try just one strand with a brush. It might be a little less messy. So I'm just going to do this, just the end, just so it's a little hint. But I don't... It doesn't help that I don't have my glasses on to do this. I think I can put my glasses on. Because I'm not doing the whole head. There we go. Now I can see better. All right, so I'm going to put a piece of, paper, of napkin, paper towel, any something underneath to hold the hair. And if you want just a tiny, tiny tint, just barely seen of your color, then this is the way you want to go. Kind of hard to see on camera, but I am definitely seeing it in real life. But it's not really a blue. So I'm going to show you the way I really did. Oh, now you can see it now that I take it away. The napkin. Max. Come here. Hold on, i got to get the up, up here. No, up here. Max. Come on. Sniffing my makeup. All the way. Come on. There you go. Get a little Max in the picture. He loves my makeup. So hold on, he's got to like attack the face first. <laughs> He's my little helper. So what I really did the first time I did this and what I'm going to do now. No. Get back over there. Come on. Come on. Get down. Is I put some on the napkin. Wrap the hair. Pull it through. This is really a lot more difficult than I thought it would be doing it on camera just because of everything's backwards. And I'm going to end up getting my fingers all blue, but it's eyeshadow, it washes off. It doesn't help that I have the fan going. And I was doing that to help dry the hair a little bit better before I did this. Where to go? Okay. Let's see what this does. <gasps> there it is. You can wear gloves to do this. And look at that pretty blue. And this will come out in the wash tomorrow when I shampoo, or the next time I shampoo my hair. And then I separate it a little bit. You can just see it here or there. Now, it's easier to see with straighter hair. And it takes a little bit. Sometimes more than one coat. And sometimes I'll just rub it in a little bit better. I don't want it to get too high. Sometimes I'll go and I'll just do a whole streak. Um, I'm not really looking for that today. And then, you know, just keep putting it in. And what I'm doing is I'm putting my finger in my napkin, 
rubbing it in there good. So I got quite a bit on the napkin. Ooh, this is going to come out really bright. Grabbing the hair, making sure that the eyeshadow part of the napkin goes on the hair, and pulling it through. There you go. Look at that. And again, I'm not necessarily trying to do like a straight line. That won't work with my hair because it's curly. So what I'm basically just trying to do is get the ends. That's going to be the look for the day. And I think I got, I did, I got something on my glasses again. My sister was just making fun of me for that the other day. I got black paint or something on my glasses and I'm having a heck of a time getting it off. See, just a little hint. Just here and there. And like I said, with my hair it's a lot more difficult because these, first of all, it's not one length. There's lots of different lengths. And then the curls bounce up, which a lot of times underneath, just the underneath layer, I'll straighten it a little bit. Just so that I can keep it under control. Because controlling naturally curly hair, as everybody knows, is like virtually impossible without a lot of time, effort. And I just, I don't have the patience for that. I'd rather be out here crafting. Last night I was sitting here and came into my head, I need to make a witch's hat for Halloween. So I've started it. Uh, I got the hat actually made out of construction paper. Now, one other thing, when you have blonde hair and you're using blue, yellow and blue make green. So if you don't have the blue on there good on your, your napkin or whatever you're using, it's going to come out green. So just keep that in mind. If you don't mind a little bit of green on there, go for it. If you don't want green for sure, just use a little bit more blue and it'll turn more blue because that be it's kind of it's green to me. It'll be more blue than green. Of course you got to use the right part of your napkin and with this fan blowing like it is, it's not helping. And of course I sat down to do this without my brush. But what I like about this is that A, you already have it. B, so it's free basically. B, it's quick. And C, it washes out. Like the next wash. I tried it once with lipstick. I don't know what I was thinking. But A, it really made my feel, hair feel greasy and gross. And B, it took a few days to wash out. I mean, luckily it was pink and it looked okay, but I was not happy with the fact that it was there. And the majority of it washed out, but... Alright, let's see here. This is so quick and easy. Once you get the rhythm going and you can be smart and not do it in front of a fan, yeah, huh? Wow. Check it out. It's a moat. Oh, my God. Like thank God. I'm not trying for full coverage. I would not suggest this for full coverage. Streaks, yes. Tips, yes. Um, that is basically where I would call it quits. I can't believe how far we have not gotten on the truck. Because, A, I, I just don't, I don't think it's a good idea. I don't think it would do good coverage, full coverage for it. Okay, see how quick and easy that was? I found some. Part of it is though, also, 
Oh, I did get it. It's just not as bright. If you're running your hands through it, some of it's gonna it's gonna come off on your hands. So when you get it, then leave it alone. Okay, just leave it. So anyways, that's how you do that. Nice and easy, just a hint. Okay, good luck, have fun with it. Lots of different colors. Any color you can find in eyeshadow, it should work. Just remember, it's got to be powdered. Or kind of compact, you don't want really loose powder. You know, otherwise it's going to be a mess. And it shouldn't come off, it has not come off on my clothing yet. Uh, no promises or guarantees, obviously I'm not a professional. But, there you go. Tammy, have fun. Karen, might be a good idea for Savannah for Halloween. Alright, bye.